The following video is part of my online course, Filming with Drones. It teaches you everything that you ever wanted to know about recording breathtaking aerials with your drone. Whether you're an advanced pilot or a beginner, more than 5 hours of video lessons, tons of quizzes and downloadable cheat sheets will skyrocket your skills. Check out the course on www.tomstechtime.com courses. If you enter the coupon code DRONEPRO, you'll save 15%, but the coupon code is only available for a limited time. Enroll today and become a drone pro. Let's talk about ND filters. ND of course has a meaning, neutral density, though some people call ND filters grey filters as well. ND filters are commonly used filters in both videography and photography. They neither tint the image nor do they apply any crazy effects, their job is to do nothing but to darken the recordings, just like sunglasses ND filters absorb light. Usually, you can buy ND filters in different strengths. The lower the value, the lighter the glass, the less light it absorbs. The higher the value, the darker the glass, the more light it absorbs. An ND filter with a strength of 64 for example absorbs way more light and darkens the image much more than for example an ND filter with a strength of 4 only. Technically, no one needs to use ND filters. That's because the camera can itself darken the recordings if it is too bright outdoors. In order to do that, it usually pushes up the shutter speed value. That's because a higher shutter speed effectively darkens recordings. But a higher shutter speed also has a negative side effect. It over sharpens recordings. Look at this example. It was filmed with a very high shutter speed. When looking at footage that looks like this, then the audience easily gets a headache, plus that the look is just far from what we're used to from other cinematic productions. With a correctly set up shutter speed, the image is still way too bright. What happens when installing an ND filter now? Voila! The image is finally not too bright anymore and because the shutter speed is set to a lower value, a natural amount of motion blur is also visible. It's unfortunately impossible to precisely predict which ND filter to use in every situation. That is because finally it all depends on which camera settings you're using and how bright it is outdoors. But nevertheless I sat down and put together this hopefully helpful list to help you out and give you kind of like a reference. When it comes to buying ND filters, it firstly depends on which lenses you use. If you are using a professional drone, let's say an Inspire drone made by DJI, then you should get high quality filters from a company like Schneider Kreuznach or Tiffin. They produce the best in-class filters that cause no ugly side effects but only darken the recordings. 
When using a consumer drone made by DJI, like the Mavic or the Phantom series, then you cannot go wrong when picking an ND filter from the manufacturer, saying from DJI themselves. Their filters do a good job and they perfectly fit the drones of course and they also cause no negative side effects. When picking third-party filters either for, let's say, a DJI or any other drone, like for example those made by Autel or Parrot, then you have to be a bit more careful. I found two third-party companies that produce high-quality ND filters for consumer drones, Polar Pro and PGY Tech. Many people end up buying cheap filters, please don't buy those. The old saying, who buys cheap, buys twice, is proven right in this case. Go ahead and check out www.tomstechtime.com slash nd. You find everything that you need to know about nd filters neatly sorted and summarized. You'll also find a list of nd filter recommendations for pretty much all drone and some other camera models. Never spend money on cheap filters that will only ruin your otherwise beautiful recordings again. I have tested all filters recommended on the site. They do the job and they will enhance your aerials. www.tomstechtime.com slash nd. It's worth it. By the way, there is also a link in the description below the video. Thank you.